Yo, shout out to Joe. Welcome to MMO Gang. So essentially, this guy is a reseller. So he resells shoes, buys it for low, and sells it for high. Now, if you can't be asked to read it, let me explain it to you. Essentially, he's put in 1.5K into his business and turned it into 4.3K. And he also has a 500 pound cryptocurrency portfolio, which is pretty good for his age. It's good value investing from a young age. Now, if you want to join MMO Gang, just simply send a DM like you did to my Twitter or my Instagram, and then you'll be featured on the next episode. Yo, welcome to the property course. This is a free property course that me and my boy Denzel are giving to you. We've been in the property game for over a few months now and we've gained quite a lot of experience in our time. So what I ask you is to please come with an open mind, a pen and paper and willingness to learn. Yeah, so the reason we wanted to create this course is for many reasons, but so the top three is number one, not only people are already doing this, so we wanted to give you guys a step-to-step -step guide on how it's possible despite your age, your circumstances or your finances. It just happened for us, so it can happen for you. I just want to let you guys know that this course comes with no payments whatsoever, no strings attached, it's just free. We're just giving out free value. The reason this will be beneficial to you is because one, you've got someone that's your age, so this is more relatable, more actionable, more realistic steps for you to get into the property game. Secondly, what else I would love to let you guys know is that not a lot of people our age are into property, so this is something you can relate to, as if people your age are doing this, then why can't you? A lot of people my age like to go down the legal routes, so they have to do some illegal activities to make their money. I don't agree with that and I feel like you shouldn't too. Rent to rent is a great way for you to start getting involved in the property ladder. Why? Because it's low cost of entry. And the third reason why we want to do this course for you is because a lot of people helped us along the way. We've had great mentors, great teachers who has helped us set up our properties, who's helped us with different knowledge, introducing us to different investors and we want to help you the same way that they've helped us. So yeah, let's begin with how I started off into property. now. The reason why I started off was simply because one day I was looking on the Forbes list and I noticed that everyone in the Forbes list has at least real estate in their net worth. And I kind of thought to me like, if they have real estate in their net worth, why don't I? So I feel like real estate was a way for me to go forward into developing my wealth. Now, essentially everyone needs a place to live. So the demand for real estate is always there. And also what I would love to let you guys know is that I don't have any rich parents, you know, Denzel as well. We don't have any rich parents who don't have any crazy upbringing where you know, we was dashed money. This is all from our own hustle. Our own hustle, you know, working jobs, doing any side hustles on the side. So you can get started as well. It's not anything crazy. It's nothing out of the extraordinary. I'm just a normal person, just like you guys. You know, I just worked hard and invested my money wisely. Now, what I would like to begin with is that a lot of people like to ask me, you know, you know, what A-levels do I need to get into property or what university degree do I need to get into property? And let me just tell you this now, you don't need nothing. You know, we're in an age where online courses is the best way to learn stuff nowadays. Self-education. You don't need to go to uni to learn some sort of degree to get into property. The best way I would advise you guys to learn about property is simply online courses. So what you're watching now, us, as we're teaching you. The school curriculum is not fast enough to update for the new ways of making money in 2020. So that's why it's a little bit outdated in my opinion. So online courses is a way forward for me personally. And that's what you should focus on, self-education. So a lot of people ask me, you know, how does it get started my property journey? Me, I love education, so I started using YouTube and Google. Bear in mind, these two are your best friends, let me just tell you this now. So essentially, I started off been watching Jacqui Edwards and a lot of other property gurus. So for me, I believe that watching practical videos of watching someone do something or teaching me how to do something is a lot easier for me to learn and digest in my brain. So this is again why we're making a video course, not an ebook or any sort of other form of education. After watching plenty and plenty of videos, I decided to start taking action. So this means you need to start, you know, networking. So going to networking events, meeting other people within the property industry, which can then help you on your journey, get to where you want to be. So now we're entering my toilet and as you can see, it looks a little bit different. Now there's simply a leak in my toilet, so the plumber has to come take it out and then redo the whole board and the tiles. Now obviously I've delegated this to him and I'm not doing it. And this just goes to show you what property is really like. Yeah, so as Pokey said, I feel property is the number one vehicle for building wealth. You know, most of the 1% in the world, they all require real estate. And why? Because that industry will never run out. That industry is always in demand. I feel there's many strategies which you can get into, whether it's capital appreciation or cash flow that you're looking to achieve. Now, what you also need to remember is that property has actually been around since the beginning of civilization. You know, the cavemen needed to live somewhere. They need to live under any sort of hut or any sort of, you know, mud houses, whatever you think. Property has progressed over the years and it's shown to be why it's one of the best assets to invest into because it's lost all these years. Yes, yeah, see a lot of gurus, they always say that oh, you know, property is this easy and to us, property when you put your mind to it, it's very achievable but not many gurus teach you the, the in-depth things of what can go wrong in property. As Pokemon Master showing with his um, toilet, 
these things are all unexpected, but in this course, we want to make sure we provide as much value to you as possible to understand what, not just how to get the property, but what to do once you got the property, how to overcome obstacles that may come your way. Okay. All right, cool, guys. As you just seen, we're in my apartment now in Nottingham. Two bedroom SA unit, which I got around that like, February time, was it? Yeah, around February, yeah, time. February time. So, before I tell you how I got the property, I'm going to tell you guys where I got started. So, around three years ago, you know, I've always been hungry for success in school, like all my friends could tell you. And I was introduced to my mentor called Douglas through my mum, who's an accountant. And he taught me, like, you know, if you put your mind to anything, you have the ability to achieve anything that you want. So, from that, I started taking action. I started going to his office. I had meetings with him, he started taking me to property events. And you know, I was just understanding the game to a high standard, meeting different strategies, meeting different people. And this really started me in the property game. Fast forward to around last year time, I was doing deals with him, getting involved with um, different negotiations, different contracts. And I decided to myself, I want to take on a unit by myself, you know, in my own name. So what I done was, I was looking for a strategy to go into. I decided to choose rent to service accommodation as I thought it was low barriers to entry, um, quite cheap styles of course and stuff like that. So I was doing um, various viewings in Nottingham, which is where I study, and I came across this unit here. Um, so the rent is £850 per month, bills around 350 and I rent it out for around £100 per night. So I thought to myself, cool, I'll take this strategy on, I'll make this one of my first units. And I was thinking to myself, I don't want to put down a lot of money of my own, so where can I get the money from? And this is, I know a lot of people think, you need a lot of money to start a property, but this is an example of how you can use other people's money, other people's time for investment. So I was thinking, cool, where can I get the money from? Where can I get the experience from and the knowledge to help me with this investment? I reached out to my uncle um, called Abraham, who's a property investor as well, and I presented him the opportunity. I could have sold it onto him as a deal, but I wanted to take it on myself. So what we done was we went half on the property. He paid for most of the things that we're doing, and I set up, I managed the bookings, the clients and everything else to do with the property. This way, each month when we got our revenue, we split it 50-50 each month, even though I've not put as much money in. So yeah, this is an example, guys. You know, if you find a good property deal and you want to take it on, you can contact, reach people, reach out to people, whether it's your family members, you know, your friends, parents, and people always looking to invest in you, in your projects, as long as it's showing a good return on their investment. I just want to tell you guys this right now, this is not a get rich quick scheme. And if that's what you're looking for, then this is not the place to be. What we're teaching you is how to develop wealth over long periods of time. After doing this course, you won't become a millionaire. Okay, and a quick disclaimer, we're both not financial advisors, we're just teenagers who have managed to acquire properties at a young age, and we just want to show you guys our journey, how we managed to do it, and how you guys can apply it to your lives and get into the property ladder yourself. So Denzel, how old are you? So I'm 18, how old are you? I'm 19, and we got this property at such an age. What we're doing today is to show you guys how we got this property and how you can do so too. Property definitely for me is a people's game, whether it's networking with agents, investors, landlords, what we need to do is have great people skills. I remember when starting off trying to get my first property, I was calling out multiple agents, multiple landlords, but just, how, how's it for you? Like, I just wasn't... Yeah, man, you've been on the phone all day, just calling multiple people. You need to, you know, make sure you make connections within the game, because mm -hmm. sometimes there's been people that I've met at networking events that have put me onto different things, you know. Yeah. They've mm -hmm. shown me other properties, and that's helped me get my property or they've introduced me to other real estate agents, which has helped me get my property. No, that's true, and one thing I've noticed in this game, that there's a lot of people who think that they're experts. Now, we're not even claiming that we're experts, but we just are showing you what we've got, uh, what we've been able to achieve, but a lot of people out there, they claim they're experts, trying to sell you 20,000 pound courses, and just, to me, I don't think it's worth it, like, the way we've done it is through authentic mentors, not even the ones that you always see on YouTube. Sometimes people behind the scenes have just helped us along our journey and as I said that's just through networking you know people think oh I'm 18 I'm 19 I can't get started but as long as you know what you're talking about you remain credible everyone's always there willing to help you and I feel like what you guys just remember is that when we was going through our property journey we had to scrabble the internet and find and speak to a lot of different people yes. to get the answers mm. what we've now done is got all of that information compiled into one course so you just have to go through one place to find all the information I wish there was someone like, you know, us, you know, yeah, that we could watch, true. but you know, this is what we're here for you. That's the aim. Yeah. And now, in my opinion, I also feel like property is a numbers game. Yeah. So essentially, you know, you'll get a lot of rejection, I'll be, I'll be real with you. you know, rejection is normal in property. Mm -hmm. So 
it's the amount of how many people you can talk to, how many agents you can be on the phone to. I've spoken to countless agents. It gets to a point where you already know what they're gonna say on the phone. That's how much, that's how much, how much repair tip you get. Now, in terms of landlords to get a rent to rent SA, I say about out of a hundred landlords, you get at least you know thirty replies. Yeah. When out of those thirty replies, <laughs> you know fifteen of them may be like viewings. I mean, out of those fifteen viewings, only six of them would even get back to you after the viewing. Yes, yeah, true. But maybe even one of them will then give you the property. So again, it's a numbers game. The more you do, the more results you get. You know, if you speak to five landlords and you get five no's and you think property's dead, that's not the way to go about it. There's a lot of people you need to speak to. You need to keep going. It is very, very repetitive. You need to get used to it. Now, I agree, and just to touch on that, I was reading a book the other day, Atomic Habits, and it says something that really important. It said, winners and losers both have the same goals. Yeah. But what separates them is the strategies and the processes which they implement to achieve that goal. So, as I bring property, me and Pokemon have the same goal of, for example, gaining five units by the end of the year. But if I'm making 100 calls a day and he's making only one call a day, I'm more likely to achieve that goal than Pokemon. And it's just, as I said, repetition, 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 and that's the best thing in property. Yeah. I just want to let you guys know, you know, some people think of property and they think of, you know, old white men, you know, dealing with big million pound houses. Property isn't just like that. As you can see, we're two black guys from ends that just, you know, that go to uni and are in property. It's very, very possible. Don't think it's, you know, out of reach. Don't think anything's out of reach. Trust me, it's within your reach if you put the mind and dedication to it. If you're open to learning, then I guarantee you, you will then get some success into property. It's not just for old white men that have millions of pounds. Trust me, you can get into it too. And that's what we're here today to teach you. So yeah. Not you, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. So you can now say the course is officially out and it'll be down below. It'll be down below. Just click the link below, surfervation.co.uk, as you can see over here. So yeah. Come on, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe, share with your friends. Yeah, you already know, man. It's Pokebex, baby. Aye. <laughs>